Welcome everybody, Two Slayers here. So today we're gonna to be going over this huge, ginormous, biggest I've ever seen bottle jack. Only one of the pumps works, you know, or it sort of works, you know, and so I wanna tear it apart, clean it up, and uh, hopefully none of the big seals are a problem. Uh, I've got, uh, you know, tons of the smaller seals and O-rings. What I'm gonna do is pop this drain plug and uh, let it drain out. Well, All right, so as you can see, most of the oil is drained out. I'm gonna try to pop these two end screws here, which are plugs, which I believe are the bottoms of the pumps. And if they're not nice, then I'm just gonna go straight to the big stuff. I'm not gonna chance stripping this crap out. Yeah, I don't even wanna play with that. So I'm gonna tap it with uh, an impact driver. All right, they both knock loose real easy. It's a good sign. Huh. So there is some sort of seal in here and I don't know what it is and I don't want a chance damaging it. So I'm just gonna put these plugs back in for now. I think getting this top plate off is gonna be the hardest part. There's there's two rings here. So there's the main hub, the, the main ring. Then there's an inner ring here. Yeah, there's a bunch of water in there. I'm gonna try to get that inner ring out first. Yeah, it's moving. Before I break out the 36 inch uh, monkey wrench, pipe wrench, I'm gonna see if this will do the trick. I just put a little scribe mark over here just to see if it's actually moving or not. Nope. 36 inch rigid steel pipe wrench. Big dog. It's probably still not gonna work. All right, here we go. Nothing. There's the mother of all C-clamps. Two babies. These things are monsters. So I think this, this will give me a lot more leverage. Now I basically have to flip this damn table over before that thing breaks free. If I have to go get a freaking cheater bar for this thing, I will. Don't make me. Yep, cheater bar. All right, six feet of leverage-ish. Damn, it's actually kind of scary when you get this much leverage on something. All right, here we go. Ugh. Jeez. That ain't going nowhere. Still nothing. So I'm just hitting it really light, the map gas torch. Just hopefully it'll get a little expansion contraction. I don't want to damage any seals, but there's so much steel in this thing, it'd take forever to do that. Something to keep in mind, if you do decide to do something like this, make sure I pulled this seal back out up front, that guy's open back there, so you're not heating up a pressurized vessel. All right, monster, I don't know, six foot or so cheater bar. Honestly, I don't think the pipe is strong enough, but we're gonna try it. Nope. Doesn't even budge. All right, looks like we got a good grab on it.
All right, more heat. So our first torch was the, uh, the small map gas torch. This is the big one. If I gotta go get the oxy out, we will. I personally don't think that's gonna do shit. That wasn't hot enough. Not a budge. Dang it. <sighs> Still nothing. All right, well, I'm starting to run out of options here. Um, I hit it with the acetylene torch, heat it up pretty good to the point where I even started getting some fluid out the seam here and uh, put the wrench back on it with the cheater bar and everything and nothing. I mean nothing. So I'm going to try something a little crazy. I've got this, I don't know, six inch C channel that's I think eight feet long and uh, the whole piece weighs probably close to 80, maybe 100 pounds. Um, the inside of the C-channel, though, is about five inches, just a smidge over, like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the paint off of this along these two edges here. I'm going to get that C-channel on here. I'm going to weld it in place, and that's going to basically give me unlimited leverage. I think I might peel it off these C-clamps, but I don't know what else to do at this point. This, this bugger is on here. So we're going to give it a shot. If this doesn't do it, nothing's gonna. <sighs> Damn. <sighs> stay, stay, stay. Nope. Kinda need this guy centered. Not sure how often uh, I've had to weld something together just to take it apart. And here we go. I'm gonna try to keep my feet out of the way. Jeez. Doesn't feel like it's budging at all. Oh, got it. Aha! Got it! I can't believe it took all of that. Holy shit. Yep, there she goes. Wow! Bam! That is a first. So now I get the joy of cutting this off of here. Yay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean all this up and we'll pick back up when it's back on the bench and just it there, okay?